Well, good morning, everybody. Here I am showing you the multiple monitor system and my idea for Discord. What I want to do is I want to put myself on video, but not through a webcam. Now, I've set up this portable webcam in Logitech, and I plugged it into my laptop that you see here. Let's see if we can see it a little bit better. Hey, there you go. Okay. So, and I downloaded Discord and I installed it. So let's run Discord with one user here and one user here as an example. So here's Discord. It's loading up. Let's load Discord here. There we are. And there's Discord. Close that real quick. And there we go. So one user, second user, I made friends. So now I want to send this video signal up to here through the internet and call my friend and let's see give him a call now i'm going to share the camera so there's the camera so they can see it so here i am and you can see the other camera that's, that's you camera two is up there well sort of up there if you look that way it's all confusing so many different camera angles and that is the camera that shows up there. Well, I'm talking to you about it. I don't know. So let's take a look at what's going on here. This is a real camera and it's live. We put it on top of the laptop for a better view, but you don't need to see my nose hairs. Nobody needs to see anyone's nose hairs. So let's go back to here. So this is a monologue I did for my friend. And uh, let's see, pop this open, throw this over here so you can see it. There we go. And we'll take a look. Let's see. Here. Projects. Uh, video. I guess you're acting. Let's see. There we are. And I forget which video this is, but it doesn't really matter. So her video was something like this. And we're going back and forth. I and I have, let's see, like an acting one to respond to that. Oh, uh, this is a different video, different acting video. That was her piece. But here's a render. We feel his heart and his mind and his sleeping spirit. Don't judge. It's pretty good. Joins us. So I did that for motion capture, but the live video looks good anyway. Back to Discord. So in here, I'm actually going to run that video and play it. Boom. That's running. And what's neat is it's, you've seen it in different people's uh, broadcasts. It's resizable. So that's video source is resizable, just like we could barely do except for really expensive software back in the day, hardware too. Now I want to send that to this person as I talk to them. So in here, this, this software, by the way, is OBS, very cool software. So in OBS, I want to add a plugin and it's called virtual camera. So I turn, on my virtual camera or the plugin, which I can do like four different streams at once, and then put it into here. So if I go into here and I go to video to share, it should pop up. And it sure does look like that's me. What do you know? How am I there? So I'll maximize that because we can type back and forth, but I want to maximize my conversation. And there it is. And you'll notice that it didn't flip backwards like Discord does sometimes. But you notice my live camera does. The live camera has me on the left, but on me up here, I'm on the right. I don't know why they do that. I can't really explain it, but there are options in here to change that. So let's minimize this a little bit. All right, move that up here. And then maybe put my other media source, which is uh, my little girl, Becky, OMG Becky. She's one of my puppets up here. And they're going to a nightclub and stuff like that. So maybe I want to talk to somebody with a live, actual live stream, put it in there and show them other stuff on, you know, it's it's multi-purpose and yet not kill the stream when the person doesn't have to have four streams coming at them. So it compresses it over the internet and it sees, you know, you can see through that camera, it looks pretty good. You know, it doesn't look like it's hard to see the data. I think Discord knows that I'm on a local area network when it's talking back and forth. So that's probably why it looks so darn good. I don't think over a five kilobit connection up and uh, 20 down, I'm gonna get that quality, but you know, who knows? So let's go back to Media Source 3, which is like the Muppets I had running. And I'll put that here. And then I can move where it is. You can actually move the position. 
And I think we can hear the Muppets, I'm not sure. <laughs> That's so great. It's so great to be able to do this, you have no idea. So let's talk about the science of this. What's going on? Now, I'm going to go back into my other video, and I'm going to loop it, because you can tell it to loop or not to loop. Uh, important stuff. On Windows, you want to go into your sound setup, and I do that in the traditional control panel. So I'm going to go here, into the control panel, and I'm going to look in my control panel, back in audio, and go here to large icons for sound. And you'll see all these things that are at it, like, what the heck? The second before things start to turn off. Let's see, source. So we see uh, cable A output, cable B output, etc. What is that? What's cable A and B? It doesn't even exist in the recording. And the playback goes to my television for now. All these other things. Well, there's software out there by uh, AB, I think it's AB Source or something like that. AB Video will be in my link. And it allows you to pull any process running and pretend it's an input. And then you can place that input into anything. So if I want to pretend that OBS recording, cable A output, cable B output, because I have another program running, then they also have the free version. This is only like 12 bucks. So they have the free version where it's just an output from a program that comes in as a microphone because I'm recording from it. So in my Discord, I go into here and say, what's my microphone's name? And this took a while to figure out. But I go into voice and video. Up here, it'll say cable A or B. And I have other free programs for like Line 1 Virtual, Voice Meter. Now let's see, what's Voice Meter? It's from the same company. But that's really complicated. It's going to feedback, but you'll get an idea what's going on here. That's pretty cool. I mean, right here I've got five hardware inputs. Input, 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 input. So let's cut that out so we don't have to hear that. But there's a lot of things going on. Amazing. You can send some data into here. My last test real quick, I'm going to, you know, let the Discord do its thing, but I want to close Discord and I want to see if my camera's available here. Usually it's not. Let's take a look. No camera detected. This is character animator, so I don't know why. Maybe it's because Discord's still using it. I don't know. So let me quit Discord just in case and say goodbye to myself. Hey, Seth, what's going on? And, uh, let's see. Looks pretty good. And close that. And sneaky bastards keep it in the system. Right click and quit it. Go back into here, close this, and open up Character Animator. And maybe it doesn't, maybe it does. I don't know. There's other 3D programs that do motion capture I have that would be useful for this. But I don't want to live do it. I want to do 20 different takes until I like it and play only that back. But Character animator is not very good. It still does that crap. So let's take a look. It's a little stuck. It gets stuck sometimes. It's not a very good program. There we go. It's still stuck. Hey, welcome to my video where things don't work. Uh, and I blame Microsoft. Uh, and Adobe. And Adobe. Uh, yeah, I don't see it. But I'll figure that out. Be in another video. Be like step two using OBS, maybe full screen, as facial capture, because it's not going to check this data. I don't really want to use this this uh, Logitech camera because it's good, but it's not that good for the detail. And the crisper the detail and the better lit your face is, but I have red on both sides and white in the back, the better for motion capture. So that's it. I hope it works. And now you need to do virtual discord.